All right, hey everybody. Today we're gonna be checking out Keyword Hero. The price on AppSumo is about to raise, so I am kind of rushing this a bit. I did just buy the tier three, which is the $200 pack. We're gonna see exactly what this thing can do. I've been pushing it off because mainly I thought it was a AI writer and that the price was terrible. Because if you're buying this for, to be an AI writer, the price is terrible. But they call themselves a SimRush or a Harefs alternative. So this is really a keyword research software and not an AI writer, but we're going to go ahead and check out both. We are going to be grading it as a combo instead of just an AI writer, because as an AI writer, I could tell you right now, it's not worth the money. And the main reasons why are it costs one credit for an outline and then four credits for an article. So five credits cost five credits for one single article. And on the $200 plan, which is the one I, I picked up today, it only gives you two, 25 AI credits, which is five articles. So for $200, you get five articles per month. That's not a good deal at all. And the max you can do, which is a $500 LTD, it's very expensive. You only get 12 articles per month. That's very little. Three a week, essentially. Not a good deal at all. So anyways, I just wanted to cover that before we go over everything else. This is a keyword research platform. So I went and looked at the stats. 500 keywords per lookup isn't enough. Uh, you can get more for free on other platforms. 100 or 1,000 per search isn't a lot either. So I think 1,500 is probably a good mid-range, so I don't have to spend $500 to really test this thing out. Another thing the three gives us that the one and two, or tiers one and two don't, are the read, edit, and create. So basically you can outsource to a VA with the tier three and above. So far, I, I'm not impressed with the price, but let's check it out. I did go ahead and check out a little bit before this because that was, <laughs> it was actually the second time I've tried to record this. Essentially, the platform is very easy. You got keyword research, you got content creation over here. And then over here, you got the light and dark mode up top. And here's your notifications. And then you got a little menu that tells you what you've used. Obviously you could see I've used one SERP analysis, which basically brings in the SERP data. It refreshes it. You can do that 30 times per day on the $200 plan. Keyword lookups, it says I've used seven. I've only used one. So that's interesting. They do These do reset daily, but it is very interesting. So basically every time I click on a keyword, it's going to charge that. I don't like that. So far, not impressed. I do have 175 content analysis. Basically what that is, is think of like Surfer or uh, Neuron Writer, I think. Pretty sure we'll test that in a second. AI credits, we have 25. Remember it costs one credit for a outline for an article and four credits to write it. So five credits total if you're gonna be using this platform. So let's go over to keyword research. Looks like there is no way to save the data. So it actually didn't even save what I've already used. So let's go ahead and look it up again. We'll do wine tasting and obviously we're going to be searching United States, but you can search worldwide. You can search by, it looks like we have United Kingdom, Canada, Australia, Germany, Spain, France, India, Italy, Netherlands, Poland, and Turkey. So not a wide range of different regions. So keep that in mind. If you're not in one of those that I just listed, it's probably not going to be ready to roll as soon as you get in there. So their dashboard is very clean. I like it. You got your filters down here. You can do positive filters. You can do negative filters. You can do monthly search filters. So we'll do minimum of 10 searches. You do cost per click, which if you're an advertiser, that's useful for me personally, as uh, since I'm only interested in SEO type stuff, not important for me. Now they do have their own difficulty metric. It seems to be fairly accurate from what I've seen so far. I like it. So we're going to limit this to 25. Go ahead and run that search. So down here, you got your keywords. Looks like you can sort by alphabetical. You can sort by the cost per click. You can sort by the volume if you want to go for volume metrics, or you can sort by the difficulty. And it looks like it doesn't seem to have them. And remember, every time you click on this, I'm pretty sure that's a keyword lookup. Boom. So we should be around like 10 No. I don't know. I'm not really sure how that works. Must be every time you put in a filter. So let's go ahead and cluster the keywords. Okay, so you can you can toggle that off if you want to remove the filters. I like that. That's clean. You can keep it clean if you want. So negative filter is anything, say, if you want near me out of there, you'd write near me. All right, so we want near me and we'll do Napa. You see, we got these two Napas down here. And then you do comma Napa, go. 
All right, and then it took out, you can see there's no more Napa, there's no more near me. So that's nice. And it also took out the keyword difficulty and it charged us another lookup. Okay. So yeah, every time you use a filter and rescan, it's a lookup. That's not bad. That's understandable. I like it so far. We really only wanted to take out the near me. I was just testing the filters. So let's go ahead and rerun. If there's a uh, word you want it to include, that's where you put it here. You put that in the positive filters. We're not going to do that for now. So let's go ahead and sort it by difficulty. We got wine tasting do's and don'ts. I feel like that should be a fairly difficult keyword, but apparently not. So here's the keyword. Here's the breakdown of the volume. We got 50. So basically it just brings what's over here, puts it up over here. I like that it says go for it here for, since it's a one. You got a profitability score. I wonder how that's calculated. And looks like we can refresh it right here. This is search trends. I like that they have this in here so you know that it is more popular around certain times. I wish they had like the month underneath here though, so that you could a little more easily tell the the highs and the lows, you know? Okay, so here's the SERP data. I did have to search this. This wasn't automatically in there. So if we click on another one here, we have to fetch SERPs. And remember over here, that will charge us our SERP analysis. So I've only done the one so far. We'll go ahead and pull this one in so you guys can see it. Okay, it's actually kind of funny. I think the SERP analysis actually takes longer than the keyword lookups. So that's that's interesting. And then it pulled in, looks like it pulls in the top 100 almost. So it's missing two. So it probably doesn't pull up the um, the snippets and stuff like that. I don't know how the profitability score is calculated, but it's cool that they have that there. Yeah, see, this one has a better profitability score and a still a low keyword difficulty score. I don't know how it's calculated. Maybe it has something to do with the cost per click. I don't know. Okay, so it says go for it there. Let's see what it says on a 29. It just says easy, very easy. Okay, so it looks like zero or one to 10 is go for it. 10 to 20 is roughly is uh, very easy. And then 20 to 30 is just plain easy. Okay, not bad. Not bad. I like the keyword research aspect. It's pretty nice, pretty clean. Okay, so down here, we actually missed something. We can see that there's 448 keywords with our, our filters up here. We can copy them to clipboard. We can add to a content plan, so that's nice. Or we can export to a CSV. Okay, so let's click a couple and see. Oh, no. I don't like that at all. Okay, so it's... Every time you do something, you have to redo your filters, which every time you redo that, it charges you another keyword lookup. So somehow we've already done 17 keyword lookups just for one search, really. So you got to be really careful on what you're clicking. All right, so let's add to content plan and see what happens. There are no content plans found, so we got to create a new content plan. So we'll do put it under wine. Yes, add. So there we go. Add keywords. Now, how do we look that? content plan up. Okay, here we go. Okay, so when you go over to content creation, your content plans are right there. Oh, I like that. Darn it. I do not want to like this software. Okay, so let's go ahead and try one. Let's try. Let's see what we can do here. So we click on that. So we got that highlighted. We can add notes over here. So this is for your VA. Okay, let's do an analysis. Okay, so that's being created. Let's go ahead. We'll just write our five articles with these except for gift card. I don't like that one. So let's go ahead and click that and delete this one. How do we delete? Ah, there we go. So we got the delete button in the top right. And I wonder if I believe the screen, will it stop doing the analysis? Yeah, because it's already charged me. So let's go ahead and go back over to research. Oh, uh, it does not save your data at all. So you you search, you add stuff to your content plan. You go over here, look at your content plan, and then you go back to keyword research to continue your work. And it completely erases everything. That's a huge bug, man. That's not cool because you're charging us keyword lookups for this crap every single time. I want to do a couple different kinds of articles. So let's go to keyword difficulty on that filter. Okay, we forgot to put it in our minimum. So minimum of 10 searches will exclude near me. Wine tasting glasses would probably be, that would probably be a good keyword. Because that would be an affiliate keyword to where you can make some commissions off that. Wine tasting outfit ideas would be pretty good as well. Wine tasting memes would be a really fun article. I'd love to see how it does that. So maybe we can do that one. That would be a very tough article. 99% of AI writers would not be able to do that article. Including, I think, Koala Writer would probably have issues with that as well. Go ahead and fetch the SERPs on that one. Okay, so we'll click that one. We'll click the glasses. Wine tasting in Pensacola. That would be a good one. So we'll see how it does with 
location-based articles. So that's a good test. Wine tasting party kit would be another one that would be a, would be a very good keyword for commissions. Wine tasting cups would be a good one for like an e-commerce page, but we're not going to do e-commerce. This is a blog. I wish there wasn't a delay here when you fetch the SERPs. I wish you would just start loading in that and I can still click around. But unfortunately, it kind of freezes the whole screen when you do that. So I'm not a big fan of that one so far. Mother's Day wine tasting. They give us a kind of a holiday based article. Okay, so we'll add that and then we'll go back to content plan. Okay, so now we have nine keywords over here. We're going to pick four. No, we're going to pick five. That's right. Let's check out the content analysis. Remember, we have 175 content analysis per month. It doesn't allow you to click on it. Okay, so it's kind of a pain in the butt to click on. Not a big fan of that so far. Okay, so this is just an editor. You run your content analysis and then you can go in here and write your article. So the editor is kind of nice. So you got your H1s, your paragraph, your H2s, paragraph H2, and then your H3s. You can go down to H4s. So you can do bolds. So we can do bold on content that knocks your socks off. We can make this one italics. We can underline this and italicize it and then bold. Okay, so it's pretty easy to do. You got your lists here, your number list, your bullet list. You can insert links, images, tables, different types of tables. You got your indents, your block quotes. Oh, and you got a little quick word count. That's kind of nice to have in there. Okay, so not bad. So that's the editor over there. So over here is your content score. It's telling us that here's our grade for what we've done so far. It's telling us we've got 33 words. We need about 1,200 to 1,400 to rank for this, supposedly. And we need about 12 to 15 headings. We currently have four. And you need 30, 24 to 30 paragraphs and one to two images. Great. The reading level should be around <laughs> sixth to eighth grade level, which is pretty hard to get to, to be honest, especially with AI. Then you got your secondary keywords here. It doesn't actually show you the keywords anywhere, so that's interesting. So there's the heading terms. There's the content terms. Why are secondary keywords... Oh, okay. I get it. I get it. Okay, so this is the main keyword, and then you can add other keywords that you want it to also kind of rank for. That's interesting. And I'm assuming it'll readjust the keywords needed. And here's where we build the outline. Okay. So let's create an AI outline. Remember this costs one AI credit. So that's one gone of our 25 already. Okay. It says the editor will resume when the current AI outline job is completed. You can keep using other parts of the app in the meantime. So does that mean I can click out of this? Oh, okay. That's not bad. Okay, so we're going to do wine tasting do's and don'ts, obviously, since we already started that. Hyde Park wine tasting, that's going to be a location-based one. So let's go ahead and run an analysis on that one. Wine tasting glasses, that's kind of an affiliate style article. So that's a good one to test. I want to see if it can do wine tasting memes. I think it's going to struggle with it. I think most, if not all AI writers would struggle with this keyword. So I want to see what happens. And then uh, the last one, I don't know if we should do... Wine tasting in Pensacola, that'd be another location-based keyword. Or wine tasting shirts. And looks like we can actually do second. So double click. Oh, you can do, you can add secondary keywords on here before you run the analysis. That's really cool. Okay, so let's scroll up. We're going to do, this one is in progress. I think this one, progress on that one. We're doing that one. We're doing that one. So that's four. We got one more. So do we want to do another listicle style, a holiday one, or a location-based one? I'm thinking the holiday one, Mother's Day wine tasting. Yeah, let's do that one. So now we got our list. We got our articles we're going to be doing. So let's go back up, head over to the content analysis and the outline builder. Okay, so it went ahead and looks like it just replaced everything and put it on the side here. So it erased everything that I did earlier, even though I was just messing around, and then replaced it. So this is this is the outline it gave us. Looks like a pretty solid outline. It's all right. No conclusion. Okay, there is a conclusion down here. Right there. Not bad. Not bad. So over here, this is the outline builder. We can still go back to the guidelines. Looks like it's already jumped the content score up to 19. So you can put how many words you want under each header. That's interesting. Weird, but interesting. So if you want to micromanage, you could do... Ooh, okay. So here's the instructions. You can add an additional instructions here. Okay. Say that this article was written by Jake Vandage with me, just to see if it'll follow it. 
I'm not going to adjust any of the words, but it looks like it goes up by 25 each time. So that's pretty neat. Okay. That's very simple so far. Import new outline from editor. To okay. So if you make an adjustment over here, you click this and it'll update it. Now we jump over to the AI content writer. Articles are written based on your current outline in the outline builder. Once your outline and the additional options below are good to go, click write content. So writing options, here's your options here. You got, this is just your estimate from your outline. So tone of voice, we got standard, friendly, casual, persuasive, and formal. So not a lot of options as far as style goes. We'll go ahead and go with friendly. Content level, what beginner, intermediate, or professional. This is do's and don'ts of wine tasting. So we probably want to go with intermediate because it wouldn't be completely beginner stuff. The purpose is to inform, sell, entertain, educate, opinion-based, and storytelling. I really like that. Why don't other AI writers do that? That's an, that's an interesting idea. So if it's a sales page, you want the purpose to be to sell something. If it's to inform, which is this one, this would be to teach something. It would be to inform. Or you can have an ent entertainment article to educate. Actually, this would probably be to an to educate the do's and don'ts so yeah educate you got first person plural singular second person and third person we're going to go second person which is where it's going to say you yours your expert options so we got nlp optimization so it's going to take the keywords from the analysis and try to build it into the article scrape fresh content now this one could be iffy basically what this does is it'll search this keyword and bring in some of that data into your article. It's weird that they say it produced unexpected results. Maybe that's if it's a, a super low keyword and it's pulling data that is not relevant to the search term that can mess things up. Pass AI detection. Looks like they offer this option, but they don't recommend it. Basically it makes you makes it right more like humans, which it's going to cause issues and not be as good in my opinion. <laughs> so maybe we'll test that out on one of them. Let's not do that on this one. We're not going to scrape fresh content on this one because this is pretty basic keyword in my opinion. You can do another prompt. Okay. So this can be background about the writer or organization asking it to talk in a specific way, etc. Please know that this option may override our algorithms and can sometimes cause. Okay, so this is basically the extra section prompt in Koala Rider. So that's what this option here is. Okay, I really like that so far. I like the options. It's simple. It's easy. Let's go ahead and start writing and see what happens. And it looks like, again, we can leave. So let's go back to the content creation part. Okay, so this one is currently writing. Let's jump in and do the Hyde Park while we're waiting for that one. We're going to skip over all this stuff because we don't need any of that. So let's go ahead and straight do the create AI outline. We'll go ahead and do it for all the keywords as well. And I'll be back. All right. And it looks like our article is done with a content score of 87 out of 100. Looks like the readability is a little high. Flesh Kincaid's pretty good. Wine tasting do's and don'ts, a guide to perfecting the art. Embarking on a wine tasting journey is an exciting adventure filled with flavors, aromas, and experiences waiting to be discovered. Crafted by Jake Van, this guide aims to equip you with the essential do's and don'ts, ensuring that every sip enhances your appreciation and understanding of wine. Whether you're a seasoned enthusiast or a curious newcomer, mastering the art of wine tasting can transform casual sipping into a profound sensory exploration. From preparation to etiquette and engagement, following these guidelines will elevate your wine tasting experience to new heights. That's not bad. Uh, the the where I said add Jake Van is the one that wrote this article. It did it a little bit wonky. It said crafted by Jake Van. This guide aims to equip. Not bad. Not bad, but not good. Doesn't really. I mean, it didn't know who I am. To be fair, it's okay. I don't like that every R H two is the exact same length. Maybe adjusting the words is more important than I originally thought. It just seems very thin seems like more headers than actual content almost. And as you can see over on the right here, we actually have double the amount of headers we're supposed to have. We got more words that we're supposed to have too. Don't have images. I wonder how easy it is to add an image. So let's go up, scroll up before you sip. Let's hit space image source alternative description. Okay. Upload. Looks like there's no connection to anything like pexels or anything like that. I know this isn't relevant, but it's the first picture I've seen. So we'll save that. I want to see what it looks like in here. Okay, so you can add them in. Doesn't look amazing. 
I mean, it's it's an out of place picture. It's a it's a tea cup, but you know, I just wanted to test how easy it was. Okay, and looks like adding in an image jumped up our score to ninety four out of a hundred. So it looks like images are included in the content score. There's no way to add AI images or anything like that. There's no stock images available to search through. So those are huge misses in my opinion. So we can save changes up here. Select competitors to use for content analysis. Restore revisions. Add or edit internal notes. Okay, so you can add notes to it if we wanted to. We can share it with people. So it looks like you just take this code and you send it to somebody. Or we can publish straight to WordPress. Flip sides. Okay. So a lot of quality of life things with this. So the connection to WordPress is not ready. This feature is coming back within a day or two. So it looks like it's been removed. <laughs> so apparently we just have bad timing for this review. So that's not working. Okay, so that's the first article. It did okay. I wouldn't say it was an amazing article. It's no Koala Rider. I'll give it that. Okay, so next up is Hyde Park Wine Tasting. Now, I don't know anything about any of this. Total word count is supposed to be 700. Okay, seems extremely thin. You know, another thing that needs to be fixed is on the outline builder, when it's building the outline, it's prior to knowing the purpose of the article. So that's a problem. So if your intent to is to sell them something, you would use a completely different outline than for an article that's meant to educate. Does that make sense? So it's that's a flaw in the system, in my opinion. So if I'm trying to entertain someone, I'm going to use a completely different outline than if I was trying to educate or teach something, or if I'm trying to sell something, be completely different outlines. So that that's a huge flaw that they need to fix. That needs to be in the prompt where it's asking for an outline. If it's not in there, it's going to mess up the entire thing. This one is intent to inform. Obviously, we're going to be friendly. We want a beginner-friendly content level. And we're going to go ahead and hit right on this one. All right, the next article is going to be wine tasting glasses. So this is the listicle style affiliate commission based article. So let's just go ahead. We're not going to mess with anything. We're going to let it control everything. Because in the end, that's what you buy this stuff for. You buy this stuff so you don't have to do this stuff. I mean, that to be perfectly honest, that's what AI is here for. That's what everybody wants. Now, for this, we want a content level of intermediate, maybe even professional. We're going to leave it at intermediate, though. And we're intending to sell something here. So do that. We'll leave it in second person. That way we're talking to the reader. Now, I don't want to mess this up with the past AI detection. So maybe we'll do that on the next one. But again, we really need to be putting in these writing options before we do the outline builder. That is a huge flaw in KW Hero. Wine tasting memes. Let's go ahead and do this one with the human written content. Okay, so go over to article writing. This one is going to be casual. Content level is going to be beginner and entertain. This, is, this article is all about entertainment. We're going to go ahead and try to pass AI detection here. Don't really care about fresh content on this one, I feel like. Maybe we should. We'll go ahead and click that to see what happens. So this is going to be our human written article. See if it's good or bad. All right, next up is Mother Day, Mother's Day Wine Tasting. This one's going to be friendly. We'll do a professional content tone here. And actually, I want to do a formal writing tone. And the purpose here is to educate. Or should we do opinion based? I don't know. I kind of want to see what will happen. This may be a complete crapshoot here. And we're going to go ahead and try and pass content or uh, AI detection on this one as well. All right, so we have all of our articles and we've used up all of our AI credits for the month. Okay, writing, 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 and we're writing. So let's look, look up Hyde Park Wine Tasting. See what we got here. Hyde Park Wine Tasting, a curated experience. Embark on a journey through Hyde Park's vibrant wine scene where each glass tells a story of craftsmanship and tradition this curated experience invites the enthusiast and novices alike to explore taste and discover the world of wines in an unforgettable setting all right gives a good content score i'm gonna be honest with you i don't like the ai writer so far it's very basic i mean the content's good it's okay i don't hate it all right so let's look up the wine tasting glasses this is our affiliate commission based article this is what's going to make most of the money for your blogs so this should be good okay and it's just okay it's not terrible 
it's not good. This, this, I don't feel like this would sell me on anything. This isn't a good article. doesn't give a breakdown. doesn't give pros and cons. This is a fail. This, this one's a fail. It doesn't, it's not, it doesn't read bad. It's just not going to make you any money. All right. So let's look up the wine tasting memes article. This is the one that was AI detection and it's also supposed to be funny. So let's go ahead and read a bit of this too. Okay. So wine tasting memes, a toast to laughter and grapes. When life gives you grapes, you make wine. <laughs> but when life gives you moments, wine memes make them even brighter. Whether it's a sunny celebration or a day that's gone sideways, a well-chosen wine meme is like the perfect sip of your favorite vintage. It hits the spot. Whether you're sworn to the red, white, or bubbly side of wine world, these memes get that love for the vino. They're about clinking glasses with pals, saying cheers to the ups, and finding the reason to smile about the downs. That is a fantastic intro. That's one... <laughs> That's funny. I like that a lot. What did we use on this? Casual. Casual and entertain. Oh, I love that. This is a good article so far. Okay, so now obviously it, it wasn't able to pull in the memes from social media. I wish it could. That would be awesome if it could. But what it did is it brought in descriptions of them, which is pretty neat. I don't know how accurate this stuff is, and I've never heard of any of these memes, but it's pretty neat that it was able to do that. And honestly, you, you just have to be able to go find the memes kind of like this. So you'd look up more or less wine meme. Okay. Yeah. And that's a, that is a legit meme. Okay. So you'd find it on here and you'd be able to link this into the article. So we get the embed code. Okay, so another thing it's missing, it's missing a way to embed code into this. So that's not cool. But in theory, you'd be able to embed that into the article fairly easy. So I'm going to say this one is a win. And this one, it had entertain, casual, beginner content level, and then it scraped for fresh content. I'm assuming that's how it was able to search the actual memes. And then it would pass AI detection. I don't know if this actually passes AI detection, but it reads really well. I like this. This is my favorite article so far. And it was the one I thought it was going to epically fail on, which is funny. So yeah, not bad. Looks like all the other articles have tons of pictures. They're just a bunch of pictures, very little content. Yeah, that's, that's the best article so far. Let's check out the other one. Remember, this is also the AI pass one. Okay, so their past AI detection really isn't that bad. It makes it sound pretty good. Again, I don't like how the outline is so specific on the words. I don't like it. Write what's needed, not what's requested. I don't know. I don't like it. This article I would not post, but it might actually work. It's not bad. Overall, I'm not super impressed with the AI writing capabilities of KW Hero, but that's, again, not the highlight. I think the keyword research is good. I think it offers a lot of tools, a lot of filters. I don't like the limits on the keywords for when you're searching. It's just very limited in that aspect. So as a keyword research tool, it's good. I don't think it's worth the amount they're wanting because in the end, I feel limited at the 1500 and I paid $200 for it. So really, if I wanted to get everything that I could out of the software, I would have to get the $500 plan and I would still be limited to 2,500 keywords per lookup. And after you filter those down, I don't know, good but not great, I guess, is what I want to go with here. I like it so far. I like using it. It's very easy to use. The content writer is just okay. Not impressed with it. I really liked the wine tasting memes article. The rest of them were just okay. The do's and don'ts one was all right as far as reading went. Let's go check out the AppSumo deals. I can tell you right now, the tier one, not worth it. Tier two, not worth it. Tier three, if you need a solid keyword research platform and something that could potentially do a couple articles for you a month, sure. It's okay. It's expensive. $199 is okay. $4.99 is the one you probably need if you're doing any kind of serious keyword research. I'm not sure this would be good enough for an agency even at the max tier, so keep that in mind. And the SERP lookups per day is very low. I could go through 75 a day by myself with just one or two websites doing keyword research. So I don't know. I would say tier three is the minimum to get. Now they do have an option to bring your own key but even with that, it's only 10 times the AI articles. So if I were to do that with the $200 plan that I have, I wouldn't have just been stuck at five 
articles, I would have been able to do 50 articles, but I also would have had to pay for those articles. And if you, you figure GPT-4, which is what this uses, is probably around 30 to 50 cents per article. You know, do the math there. It's basically 25 bucks a month extra just to use the articles. And they're not that good, to be honest with you. They're just okay. I wouldn't rate it any better than any of the other just on par article writers. It's okay. It's not bad, but it's not good. For the price, it's definitely not good. What would I rate KW Hero? As an AI article writer, it's a two out of five tacos. It's just okay based on the price. The keyword research part of it, if I had the top tier, I'd say it's probably worth a lot more. Tier three is the minimum for me. You're not going to be able to find much keywords after you filter down the crap from 500. So tier one's useless. Tier two is just okay. Tier three is probably the starter for me. It's a solid good one. It's not a five, it's not a five taco software. So I'm not sure why everybody is rating it so high. It is rated a 4.9 average. So I think, I don't know, maybe people have just never seen a good article writer before. I don't know. Qualo writer is night and day better in this as far as article writing goes. Keyword research is the highlight of this software and the limits are not amazing. It doesn't save your stuff. There's no way to save past searches, which bothers me because I like to start off where I left off, if that makes sense. I have a certain way to do keyword research. I just kind of go down the list and sometimes I stop in the middle of it, go do something and then come back. And this software is not good for that because you're going to be using more keywords and just doing everything twice. Overall, I like Keyword Hero. I would not recommend it based on the price alone. And it's about to go up in four days. So if you're going to buy this, do it now because it's only going to get worse from here. It's okay. I, I like it. I would use it if I had it. I don't think I'm going to keep it if that tells you anything. Not bad. It's a solid four taco for me. It's a four taco. I hope this helps. Let's check out the regular pricing. We're tied to the marketer plan here, which is here, which they give a hundred AI credits for on that one, which is more than even the top tier on AppSumo. So while we're tied to the marketer plan, the AppSumo plan, even at the highest tier, isn't as good as this, but the keyword research is better. So it's interesting. For AppSumo, they're trying to sell a keyword research tool right? But on their website, they're trying to sell an AI writer. At least that's the way I see it. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Yeah, I would personally, just based on that alone, I don't like the comparisons there. Looks like the AppSumo LTDs are very limited. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Everything's different. I don't like it. For me, Keyword Hero is probably a pass. It's nice. I like it overall. It's a good product. I would use it if I had it, but I don't think it's worth the money they're asking. And it's about to go up. Um, remember, it goes up here in just a few days, so go check it out. I'll leave the links down below. That way they're easier to get to. I'll leave a link to the website, to AppSumo, all that good stuff. Yeah, I would still stick. If you if you need an AI writer, go check out Koala Writer. It is better than this. It's better quality, better price. But if you need a keyword research platform that has an AI writer built in, this is, it's the best one I've seen, you know? It's the best one I've personally tested. I don't think it's worth it though. So that's just my two cents. Hopefully this helps some of you guys and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.